Mom, what is this? What did you do to us? We need answers. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 TV shows canceled in the 2010s that should come back. You don't even know me. Yes, I do. Because I'm your brother. This is my brother, Rake. Hey. Hi. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at TV shows from the 2010s that deserve a second chance. As there's already a list dedicated to animated shows, we're excluding series like Symbionic Titan and Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. Number 10. The Grinder. From the writer of Yes Man and The D-Train, this oddball comedy deserved better than a single season. <laughs> and it seemed truthful to, to, to you guys as lawyers? Oh, yeah, yeah. The Grinder starred Rob Lowe as an actor famous for portraying an attorney on a long-running TV series. After he left the fictional show, Lowe decides to try his hand at real lawyering, a decision that aggravates his lawyer brother, played by Fred Savage. Is that my suit? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's wardrobe. It's part of the process. It tells me a lot about somebody. I love watching a transformation. Besides boasting two fantastic lead actors, The Grinders' recurring cast includes the irreplaceable Jason Alexander and Timothy Oliphant. Although the show never caught much of an audience, critics compared it favorably to the equally mishandled cult hits, Arrested Development, and Community. We thought it was about me learning from you, but in the end, it was really about you learning from me. Number 9. Almost Human Picture iRobot, but with less Will Smith and more Judge Dredd. Executive produced by J.J. Abrams, Almost Human mixed buddy cop tropes with a high-concept sci-fi storyline. Taking place in the year 2048, the series shows us a world where crime rates are out of control, prompting the police to attach a combat android to every officer. This decision only serves to annoy Carl Urban's disgruntled detective, as he's forced to work with the sarcastic Dorian. Okay, you know, I am nothing you're obviously like an MX-43. Right Why don't you Do just not take a second and reboot way. yourself? Anyone is malfunctioning, you know it is you, Kenneth. Stop arguing with pieces of silicon and carbon fiber. While the series suffered due to an exposition-heavy pilot episode, Almost Human improved with each passing week, and even earned an Emmy nomination for its visual effects. But Fox pulled the plug nonetheless. Do you think someone in the department's working with them? You're the only guy I trust here. Number 8. Stargate Universe Stargate Universe pushed the franchise into darker territory, as executive producers Brad Wright and Robert C. Cooper tried to tackle complex themes while offering the typical sense of adventure associated with Stargate. Led by BAFTA-winning actor Robert Carlyle, Stargate Universe's journey was cut short due to poor ratings. Dad! No! Wait! While sci-fi series had its detractors, the dwindling audience could partially be attributed to its time slot being changed from Friday to Tuesday to Monday. Fans reacted negatively to the cancellation, prompting sci-fi to release a letter defending their decision, leaving the series dead and its final cliffhanger unresolved. Number 7. Party Down Executive producer and creator Rob Thomas knows a thing or two about cancellations. For two glorious seasons, Party Down followed the misadventures of a catering team consisting of wannabe actors and writers. What, what did I say? It's their cheese, not our cheese. Right. So, guest runs out of cheese? How are you going to feel about that? From everyone's favorite straight man, Adam Scott, to Jane Lynch, the raunchy comedy brought together some of TV's funniest faces. In 2009, the American Film Institute picked Party Down as one of the best shows and the sitcom garnered a cult following. It's going to be a lot of heavy hitters there. Yeah, I'll say. Who's who of the comedy world? Unfortunately, a glowing critical reception isn't worth much when the ratings suck, leading the Stars Network to ditch it after just 20 episodes. I'm, you you alright? You look a little, little bothered by that. Not at all. I mean, maybe by the logic. Number 6. Constantine NBC brought DC's enigmatic demon hunter to the small screen, with Matt Ryan proving to be the perfect choice to don the comic book character's legendary trench coat. Daniel Cerrone and David S. Goyer's supernatural drama captured the neo-noir vibe of the source material and earned a dedicated audience. But the public didn't seem particularly interested in Constantine's adventures. I know what went wrong, just give me the bloody phone. 
NBC dropped the series after a single season due to terrible ratings, relegating John to guest appearances in Arrow or Legends of Tomorrow, as well as an animated sequel web series, and leaving so much more that could be done with the property. Number 5. Terra Nova Executive produced by Steven Spielberg, Terra Nova was the must-watch series of 2011. The science fiction drama series promised thrills, action, and mesmerizing visuals, but Terra Nova struggled to maintain its momentum. Get down, Get down! <laughs> to be fair, the first season brought in decent numbers, but the high production cost meant Terra Nova needed to blow everyone out of the water to keep Fox happy. It didn't, they weren't, and after 13 episodes, Fox canceled the dinosaur themed series. Because you will come back, won't you, Jim? Always. Terra Nova might not have lived up to the hype, but the final few episodes promised bigger and better things for future seasons. Number 4. Happy Endings How are fans supposed to follow along when the episodes are aired randomly? Focusing on the relationships between six friends living in Chicago, Happy Endings successfully emulated popular ensemble comedies like How I Met Your Mother. There's nothing better out there, trust me. It's just a bunch of poor guys with, like, weird sexual stuff, and even when you do it, they still don't call. Simultaneously hilarious and touching, Happy Endings was nonetheless met with a grim fate due to ABC constantly meddling with its schedule to make room for other shows. The single-camera comedy's third season had such an unpredictable schedule that it led to a substantial decline in viewership, resulting in a premature cancellation by ABC. <laughs> Number 3. Agent Carter With multiple award nominations under its belt, this Marvel tie-in seemed destined to go on for years. Sadly, that was not the case. Set in the aftermath of World War II, the show followed Haley Atwell as the charismatic Agent Carter, an SSR agent tasked with clearing Howard Stark's name after he's framed for arms smuggling. Who are you? I'm an independent businessman just trying to make his mark by murdering people. A stylish period piece, Agent Carter was a welcome departure for Marvel's typical formula, with character development and drama winning out over superpowered action. But ultimately, it failed to attract an audience for ABC, although it may have fared better on a platform like Netflix. Number 2. V. Bad Ratings or Political Sabotage? A remake of the 1980s series of the same name, V imagines an alternate universe where Earth has been infiltrated by a reptilian alien species. Humanity's future lies in the hands of a small rebellion spearheaded by Erica Evans, an ass-kicking FBI agent. After landing the highest-rated pilot episode of the season, viewership dropped considerably. However, they steadily improved during its second season, which ended with a thrilling cliffhanger. At the time, critics noticed parallels between V and America's political regime, but whether that had anything to do with ABC's abrupt cancellation is merely conjecture. Wake up. Wake up! Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Feels so easy now. Here. You're not the cheat and the liar. I'm not the nag and the shrew. We're not old or young. No, it says Chips, Ted Chips. I know, but that's not my name. Don't take this wrong, but are you sure? Because it is very unlikely the system would make a mistake like that. I think I know my last name. Number one, Hannibal. Consistently appearing on critics' top 10 lists during its entire run, Brian Fuller's psychological thriller perfectly adapted Thomas Harris's Red Dragon. Led by the fantastic Hugh Dancy and the terrifying Mats Mikkelsen, Hannibal offered three seasons of tight writing, unconventional storytelling, and powerful visuals. I've been advised to stay on this side of the line. Select patients have taken to urinating on the therapists. NBC's series was a critical darling and won multiple awards but its lackluster ratings eventually forced the studio's hand. The cast remains hopeful of a revival, especially as Fuller planned to tackle The Silence of the Lambs in a future season. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.